Hey everyone, Teresa Mattis here with Focus on What Mattis and TKM Productions. I'm going to show you the quickest way to create those cool black bars that add a professional cinematic look to most videos. Let's do this. So first you're going to want to open Premiere Pro CC or whatever version of Premiere Pro that you are using. Click New Project. Title your project. I'm going to title mine Black Bars and hit OK. Okay, so in your project menu in this bottom left corner, you're going to want to double click to import the media. So whatever footage you're going to want to edit, find it on your computer, click import, and simply drag that media onto your timeline to create a sequence. I like to see the beginning and the end of my footage when I'm creating this widescreen effect. So simply hit the plus or the minus buttons on your keyboard until you can see the beginning and the end. You can click and hit the space bar to preview your file, preview your footage. Sweet, looks good. Go back into your project menu and click this new item button in the bottom right hand corner of your project menu. It'll come up with several options. Color mat is the one to choose. Don't worry about your video settings and click OK. You're going to want black bars. so. Click OK with the black and title it Black Bars or whatever works best for you. Cool, so now we've got black bars in our project menu. We're going to take that and drag it onto V2 above our footage. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see the end of my black bars. And I'm going to simply extend the end, drag out the file until my long shot footage is complete. Awesome. So now you're going to go into this little arrow here in your project menu and down to effects. What I'm doing is I'm holding down the mouse and I'm letting go on effects. Once you get to effects, go up to your uh, search screen here and type in crop. You're going to drag your crop onto your black bars in your effects controls panel. And you're going to simply click on the bottom and type in 90 and enter. Sweet, you've got one black bar there. You guys can use any um, values for the percentages. Just make sure that your top and your bottom percentages are going to be the same. You're not going to want 90% for the bottom and 80 for the top. It's not going to look correct. So you've got 90% as the bottom crop. That's great. We're going to go into our sequence and make sure that black bars is selected. You're going to hit option on Mac and hold that down, click black bars and drag it up to V3. So that creates a copy of your black bars. On the black bars that is on V3, you're going to set the bottom to 0% and the top to 90% or whatever value you did for your bottom black bars. And you can see there's our bar effect. Pretty cool, huh? Now we could just leave the black bars as is. You could, like I said, go in and change the values to adjust the width of your black bars if you'd like. But I kind of like where they're at. so. I am going to move on. I actually don't like how this looks quite yet, so I'm going to click on my footage, drop down motion, and go over to my position here. This is my X and my Y. You're not going to adjust your X because you're not going to want it to change on the X axis, but you are going to want it to um, you are going to want to adjust the Y. So you can simply scroll to the left and right on your y-axis until you feel that you have a good looking shot. I'm going to hit the space bar to preview. Pretty close. I'm going to adjust a little bit. Awesome. I like where that's at right now. Once you feel that your video is framed correctly and your black bars are the width that you'd like them to be, I like to go in and lock the layers that my black bars are on so I'm not accidentally clicking on them as I continue to edit my video. Oh my 
gosh, you guys did it. Check it out. You've got this widescreen effect on your video. Looks pretty sweet, right? If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to say yes and click that like button and subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to learn more about. If you're interested in seeing more of my work, visit my shared YouTube channel, Casey Mattis Music, this guy right here, or my official website at www.teressamattis.com. Thanks for being awesome.